Certain things you never forget. Burned into your memory. They haunt you endlessly. That is why I do what I do. Goaded by the familiar sound of the alarm, I rush to the scene to extinguish the fire. But maybe what I'm really trying to do is extinguish the memory. I keep saying to myself, she is alive, somewhere. Another explosion. Still don't know how many vehicles were involved, but from here, the flames are absolutely enormous. The rescue workers are ready to go in. They will start battling the blaze from inside the tunnel shortly. Uh, excuse me, could you explain the situation? How many vehicles were involved in the accident? Any casualties? Hey, you! <clears throat> Get this rookie out of here. She's just getting in our way. Oh, rookie? Yes, I'm new at this, but we're doing our job. Just the same as you. We play an important role. Don't say casualty. I'm here to rescue every single person who needs help. Never, ever say casualties. Listen up. The fire's already caused several cars in the tunnel to catch fire. On top of that, there's a tanker close by, and we're worried it may explode. I want you to rescue whoever's in danger. That's it. Now get to it. live from the scene. So far, there have been no deaths reported. Okay, cut. Uh, thank you. You saved my life. What's your name? McGregor. Hey, McGregor. You'll be fine. We're the only ones with a pre-rescue clip, right? Yes! Perfect! It's a scoop. <laughs> that D. McGregor is pretty good! 
Lucky man. Fire. He should have been blown to pieces. Heroic firefighter? So you're the one who saved Blackwell. The idiot who ruined my plan. The place is set. Are you ready? Of course. You're very considerate to have chosen the port area, Mr. Murphy. Don't you ever say my name over the phone. You never know who might be listening. Relax. You know me. It's impossible to wiretap my line. I'm not willing to take any chances. Don't screw anything up. See you at the party. <laughs> the party. <laughs> so, you think you can get rid of me at the party? You better think again. For you, that hardware is a double-edged sword. Ow! I'll make you pay for this. Every real party needs a good party trick. Want to see mine? Powered by a young and talented workforce, Cyclone Networks has been attracting attention in recent years as the fastest growing computer hardware manufacturer in the nation. Most of the Cyclone employees who work in this building have been safely evacuated, but we have reason to believe that a few are still trapped inside. This is a computer hardware lab. There's chemicals everywhere, so be extremely careful. Some of them are explosive. There's a huge stairwell in the middle of the lab, so pay attention to airflow. Now, rescue those survivors, ASAP. Copy. Elevator 1 is stuck on the fourth floor. The power's down, so there's no way to check it out from here. Can you check it out? I'm on it. Control room. Open the fourth floor elevator door. Sounds like... what's going on and it's my job to show them what's happening you know I could just leave you here It's not like I came here thinking it would be all fun and games. 
Do you know that in this research facility... I don't want to say anything like that again. Never. I'll secure an escape route. You two get out of here. Hurry! Come on! Give me your arm! member of the board of this company, I can fire anyone I damn well choose! Oh, oh, oh. Help me! The fire was no accident. He wanted to kill me! What did you say? Thanks for saving me back there. I don't need any thanks. I'm just doing my job. So, how are you feeling? You were acting a little strange. How do you think I feel? People died here. And you don't seem to understand that it could have easily been you. When you're at the scene of a fire, you're always face to face with death. It's part of the job. And sometimes, there's limits what you can do. I'm sorry. The fire at the lab of computer giant Cyclone Networks is finally under control. A 58-year-old Paul Murphy, a board member of this company, was killed in the fire. Uh, the possibility of arson has uh, been ruled out, and 
investigators are searching the site for explosives and other signs of criminal activity. <laughs> there are those who are skeptical about the legitimacy of Cyclone Network's practices concerning the manufacture of hardware designed to manage internet-based data, and some believe that this may be related to today's crime. We will continue to keep you updated with the latest developments on the story. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Can't be. They never knew about the plan. They couldn't have gotten information off the hardware. Anyway, Murphy paid the price. No obituaries for firemen. Damn. That hero is still alive to get in my way. What the hell is this? How'd they find out about the hardware? Damn it! I'll kill every last one of you! Now, I would like to introduce the guest of honor. May I present to you the man who saved my life last week in the tunnel fire, Mr. Dean McGregor. Hey, Dean! You big shot. <laughs> I can't believe you're the guest of honor at such a humongous party. Cut it out, man. You know they're just using me to raise funds. Besides, I, I shouldn't be here. I couldn't rescue him. Mr. Murphy, I mean. So close. Well, well, well. I'd better make room for your friend. <laughs> Evening, ma'am. We, the firemen of this city, are big fans of yours. Especially him. Hi. I'm actually here on assignment. They told us to be inconspicuous about it, which is why I'm dressed like this. Red heels. You were the same ones last time. Well, I... I like red. It's fashionate. I have a lot of red clothes. <laughs> red. Like fire. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. It, it, uh, don't get me wrong. I just like the red. It has nothing to do with fire. I... I... I uh, by the way, I wanted to ask you something. Why did you decide to be a firefighter? I mean, why would you put yourself in that kind of danger? Am I being interviewed? <laughs> Am I a reporter? <laughs> I have a younger sister, just about your age. Well, she would have been. 
if she was still alive. Uh, what? It was me, my sister, our parents. Four of us were having dinner at a hotel one night. My sister was still very young and was running around the restaurants. My parents were trying to get her to stop, but she wouldn't. It was her birthday that day. She was excited about the red shoes that she had just gotten as a present. The fire broke out at the hotel. An arsonist was trying to get one of the VIPs staying there. The fire spread quickly, and it was a matter of moments before the sister disappeared. I saw her, she had seen me, she was trying to come to me, but I couldn't reach her, she was too far away, she's still missing, all we have is one of those red shoes, I hate fire, it tore apart my family, it took my sister from us. I still believe that she's out there somewhere. I promised myself that I would never let that happen to anyone else. Never. And that's why you became a firefighter, huh? It was the only way to get back at the fire. It was never a question for me. I joined right after graduating from college. But I let another person fall victim to fire. You can't do this to yourself about Mr. Murphy. If you had rescued him, you would have died. And if you die, you'll never see your sister again. Look, you have to take good care of yourself. Yeah. You're right. We can't let arsonists get away with what they do. something to tell you. The fires in the tunnel and the research facility weren't isolated incidents. The hardware that was being developed there was... Ah! Ah! Oh my god! The fire is right behind the reception hall. Get everyone out of the party ASAP and onto the bow. You lead them! No! Wait for help! Someone could be trapped in there! Ah! Yeah, they've already started putting it out. Let's go and join them. If what Emily was saying earlier is true, this could be the work of a serial arsonist. Who would do something like that? And why? Where's the reporter? Hey, Dean, it's for you. Who is it? You said you'd find out soon enough. Have you found what you're looking for? Oh, no. Huh. Good job today. I'm impressed. But if you don't hurry, your girlfriend will be burnt to a crisp.
Sections A and B, you check out each and every floor of the building. Section C, you get the fire inside the storeroom. Needless to say, saving human lives takes priority here. Just remember, the longer the fire burns, the greater the casualties. You want to contain it as quickly as you possibly can. That's it. Now get to it. I guess this is the production line. Yeah, they're ready to go into mass production. There may still be some people here. I'll take over this area. You go take care of Emily. Craig! I'm okay! Go! Now! to kill me so that they could live like kings off of my hardware, my design. Of course I wasn't about to let them get away with it. Would you? He has such a big mouth. Senator Blackwell? And you, you're... Oh, God. So what Emily was saying was... I'll explain it to you, Mr. McGregor, before you go to meet your maker. You saved me from the fire in that tunnel, and he is the one who set that fire. Him, that pathetic creep dared to try and kill me. What's more, a Cyclone Network's board member was behind it all. You mean, you're the one who killed Mr. Murphy at the lab? That's right. Murphy and Hunt were in it together. After all my efforts, everything I went through, and what kind of thanks do I get? One day they decide that I'm a nuisance and that they want to get rid of me. That's not fair, is it? Hmm? Damn you! You! Because of you, a lot of innocent people are suffering! Because of you! I can't take this anymore. 
No more fires. No more casualties. I'm ending this right here, right now. Okay, enough chit-chat. I can't think of a better way for a fireman to die than in a fire. Can you? Die! You just don't give up, do you? Sorry, but I've got to go. I'm a busy man. Anyway, this place could blow up any second, thanks to that maniac hunt. You'd better leave here, too, if you can find your way out. <laughs> Are you okay? Say something! Dean! <sighs> Sorry it took a while. It's okay. I wasn't scared at all. I knew you were coming back for me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <sighs> now I've got you all to myself. You're the best firefighter around. The string of fatal fires that began with the recent I-42 tunnel accident is now believed to be a series of arson cases linked to Paul Murphy, a member of the Board of Cyclone Networks, Senator Harris Blackwell, who died in yesterday's chemical plant fire, and Cyclone Networks hardware developer Jason Hunt. Police investigators also have reason to believe that Senator Blackwell was somehow involved in Cyclone Network's fraudulent operations regarding a certain data collection system and are questioning several suspects. Yeah. Really? Where? How many floors? The whole building. Hey, guys, get down here. Come on, hurry up! All right, we'll meet him. Hey, you see me. Clear that. Like you were. 
Next up is the local weather forecast. Looks like sunshine and blue skies for Port Serena tomorrow. We'll be having occasional clouds coming in the afternoon with highs up around 22 degrees.